everyone, my name is Michael Tyler and I'm here again with the free Vectric Project of the Month. It's July 2018 and I've come up with a fun project that you might enjoy called the Banana Split Banana Hole. It's got an axe or hatchet that's embedded into a faux slab of wood and I've just painted the edges of the uh, slab of wood to simulate a, a rough bark texture. The hatchet was modeled in the Aspire software and I used a photo I found off the internet and also a real hatchet that I had in my own garage to create the model, use those photos, the photo and the hatchet as a guide as I created the model. I exported this model into uh, an STL format so that I could import it into the VCarve software. That way this project is compatible for both owners of VCarve software and also the Aspire software. So I hope you'll enjoy the project. I've got, as usual, step-by-step -step instructions uh, for the rest of the video. And also, you have a downloadable printout of a PDF step-by-step -step instruction as well to guide you as you go through this process. I think you'll get a smile from anyone who sees this banana split banana holder on your kitchen counter and you may elicit a few questions about it but uh, I think it's self-explanatory. We've got the hatchet more or less splitting that banana bunch. So I hope you enjoy this project. If you enjoy the video please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the video channel so that you won't miss any future free Vectric projects. Thanks again this is Michael Tyler and we'll see you next month. Okay, we got all the parts separated from the board and I'm just preparing these for the glue up. Main thing is to get any of the fuzzies off, the flat areas that'll uh, have glue applied and, and uh, be clamped together. I just don't want anything to interfere with that glue up when it's clamping and drying. You want to make, make it nice and flat. So you can lay a, you know, a piece of 220 sandpaper down on a nice flat surface and just rub it back and forth. Double check and make sure that you know there's no fuzzies left behind. You can kind of swipe the edges with a uh, by hand with a piece of 220. I did sand off some of the tabs that would interfere with the glue up but uh, the bulk of the tabs I'm just leaving on until after I get everything glued up and then I'll take care of sanding off the remaining tabs. Okay we're ready to glue up the parts and I'll start with the center section with the hatchet and the middle part of the base. Just apply some glue in here and spread it around a little bit. This is that high tack tight bond translucent glue that I like so much. I'll just apply that uh, pretty liberally. I got some wax paper laid down on this flat surface here too. So it any squeeze out from the glue up. Won't get all over my workbench. Just 
This stuff sets up pretty fast, so you need to work pretty fast. And I like to usually apply it to both surfaces. This stuff's pretty good about bonding, so I'll just uh, apply a little bit lighter coat on here. Spread that around. And as far as clamping it together, uh, you can use rubber bands or, or, or actual clamps or even uh, blue painter's tape. Uh, some folks like to tack things together with uh, CA glue, super glue. I do that myself sometimes. Okay, I think we got these ready to go. I'm just standing this up and lining it up a little bit. And I'm gonna go ahead and put some rubber bands around this thing just to hold it in place. alignment. That flat surface helps keep everything aligned as well. Okay. And I think I can go ahead and just glue these base pieces on. The idea here is uh, a little bit later on manually kind of uh, blend this in with the bark edge, that's what that's supposed to look like, bark, and so I'll just kind of center these, the position's not critical, but uh, you just need to glue these to the sides there. more or less centering it like that. And I'll get a couple clamps and clamp that together and maybe wrap some painter's tape around there, some more rubber bands and uh, let that stay clamped until it's dry. All right, here's what I came up with for my clamping. Looks like quite a contraption here. I've got a couple rubber bands I put on there and then I put a five pound lead weight uh, on top of some wax paper there to just hold this flat while I've got this clamped. And then I just got some, you know, spring clamps uh, to hold everything else in place. So I'll let that set up for, oh, maybe 30, 40 minutes. And then these uh, glue squeeze outs, I'll just scrape those off with a chisel carefully and uh, get rid of the, the glue squeeze out there. So we'll let that dry and uh, come back after we're uh, done with the glue up and we'll start the sanding and finishing process. All right, the glue up is all dry and so we just need to sand off the tabs, blend the seams and uh, get the final sanding done. I'll be using a variety of different abrasives. So I'll do some by hand. I've got some uh, coarse sandpaper just glued onto a block of wood. I'll use my uh, rotary tool with various uh, attachments and bits and uh, some hand sandpaper uh, do the sanding by hand and some sanding sticks and we'll get this all smoothed up and uh, ready for uh, coating the end pieces here you'll see the uh, middle pieces protrude out and what I'll do is I'll take the uh, rotary tool with an abrasive bit and I'll just carve this to sort of match and blend in with the uh, sort of bark uh, look around the edge here, so So I get the bulk of the sanding done probably with this small belt sander 
And some of the finer details I'll get into with uh, some of the hand sanding tools. I'll just put a abrasive sanding disc on the end of a flex shaft of the rotary tool. And I'll just continue this on until we're done. All right, we got the uh hatchet and base all sanded up. Now we've got to drill a pilot hole for the cup hook for the uh, banana hanger and I just took one of these uh, cup hooks and I bend it out a little, little bit uh, just to open it up a little with a pair of pliers here. So we got to uh, drill the pilot hole in the end where this hook's going to go. This hook is going to go right underneath here the flat of that handle so I'll give it a starter hole with the uh, with an awl and I'm just looking for the seam the glue seam where we glued it in and I'm just looking for the center here uh, between the uh, top and this uh, section here and I'm just going to give a little bit of a starter hole with this awl and I'll use a 3 seconds inch drill bit to drill that pilot hole. And I'm just looking at it to line it up as straight as I can get it. test fit this hook and uh, once I've got this in here I'll take it out we'll apply the finish and I may even put a little uh, bit of epoxy in there to secure that even more but uh, that's that's basically it Okay, it's time to apply the finish, and um, I'm going to go ahead and apply some uh, seal coat. This is uh, mixed up 50-50 with some denatured alcohol, so half seal coat, half denatured alcohol. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this to the uh, entire piece and uh, come back and sand off any fuzzies that might be left over. I may apply another coat because uh, part of the, what I have an idea for for this finish is uh, leave a lot of it more or less natural and then apply some acrylic craft paint uh, around the edges uh, of the this bark look and probably some silver Sculpt Nouveau metallic paint on the hatchet head. So I want to seal this wood really well. So we'll see how it goes. I'll put on one coat, let it dry sand it again and see if I need another coat or not. So we'll come back after I finish coating this with the seal coat. Okay, I applied two coats of the 50-50 uh, seal coat mixture and sand it between the coats. Now I'm just gonna apply a, uh, a few light coats of uh, this flat crystal clear Krylon and just to seal it some more and um, it's flat so that I have uh, 
some grip for the paint that I'm going to apply uh, a little bit later. Okay, with the clear coats, the seal coats dry, I'm just applying some dark brown acrylic craft paint around the edges. I picked out a, a dark brown and a lighter brown to simulate bark around the edges here. So I'll just continue on with this and uh, when I get that done, I'll come back to, to you and show you the rest. Okay, I've got the edges all painted with the dark brown. But I want to carry some of that dark brown around this top edge and then follow it up with the lighter brown on the inside. You don't have to be real neat, we're just simulating a sort of a tree bark effect. And I'll carry this all the way around. And then I'll follow up with that lighter brown I mentioned. You take a paper towel and just sort of wipe along that edge there. It'll give the effect of fading in to the wood. Just have to find a fresh part of the paper towel to do that with each time. Take my finger and fade it in right there. I'll touch this up just a little bit here. Okay, I'll let that dry. All right, gives a nice, nice bark effect there. I'll let that dry and then I'll come back and I'll apply some gray paint around the bark just to make it look, look a little more rough. Okay, so I've taken some gray acrylic paint, some white and a light tan acrylic paint and put them on my palette here. And I'm just touching the the brush in these these colors and applying around the perimeter of that dark painted uh, bark around the edge just give a little bit of a, a textured appearance so I carry that all the way around and then I'll come back to you and show you the rest of the painting The bark painting is dry, and so I'm just going to use some Sculpt Nouveau silver paint. It's uh, a metallic paint, water base, and I'm going to paint the axe head. And after I paint the axe head with the silver paint, I'll antique it with some thinned black acrylic paint. So after I get this coated, I'll come back and show you how the antiquing is done. Okay, the hatchet head is dry, and I just want to add a little bit of uh, thinned black acrylic paint to sort of give it an aged, uh, used look. So I'll thin out some of this black paint. And then I'll just apply this randomly. I'll just do this one side and kind of show you how it works. Just looking for a 
well used appearance on this axe or this hatchet so I'm just blotting away the, the paint and wiping it off where I don't want it that's a little bit too thin I'll thicken it up just a tad Make it look like an old used hatchet. Okay. I'll continue doing this on the other side and then we'll do the final clear coats. All right, we're ready for our final clear coats and I'm just gonna give a couple coats of uh, gloss and then I may finish that up with uh, satin. We'll see how it looks. So I'll give this several light coats all sides and that uh, completes the project until we screw in the uh, cup hook and then we'll hang some bananas on it see if it works the banana split banana holder all right it's all dry clear coats are on all we gotta do is twist in the eye hook or the cup hook And let's see if it works. Well, how about that? It actually works. There you go. Your banana split banana holder.